What's up, Internet? Corinne here, and today, guest DIYer Meg Allen Cole is going to show us how to make a cute little air plant holder, Make Magazine uses technology to keep plants alive, we learn how to make makeup out of berries, and I show off my morning face with the Emoto Style Girls. You're watching Threadheads. Hey everyone, I'm Meg. We are here in Brooklyn, New York in my new apartment. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a cool 3D prism that you can suspend from the ceiling and put little air plants inside. They're a great solution if you want to suspend things from the ceiling but you can't tack it in with a nail or a staple gun. They're so light you can hang them with washi tape and they're cute and cool. For this project you'll need straws. I like the printed paper kind. Thick thread or thin twine. A needle and a bamboo skewer. First, cut six shorter pieces and three longer pieces of your straws. Put a thick thread or thin twine in a heavy needle. Using a bamboo skewer, push the threaded needle through one of the larger straws. Thread two bigger and one of the smaller straws to form a triangle. Tie the ends of your twine to secure it and keep it tight and taut. Thread together two smaller pieces and attach to the base. Thread a longer piece and tie one end at the peak of the small triangle and one end at the peak of the larger triangle. Thread two shorter pieces together. Put one end of the thread through one side of the base and the other through the opposite side of the base. Add the last couple of straws to complete your 3D prism. Lastly, add in your little air plant friend and you are done. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make these cool 3D prisms. I think they look awesome. If you make some of your own, I'd love to see them. We'd all love to see them, so hashtag them Threadbanger, and we'll check them out. You can see more of my work on HGTV Handmade, on Meg Allen Cole Crafts, or my blog Nest. Thank you guys so much for having me. Thank you, Robin Corinne. I love Threadbanger. All right, now if you have a hard time keeping plants alive like I do, you should try out this little technique from Make Magazine. In today's weekend project, we'll be building a digital guardian for your favorite plants that we like to call the potted plant protector. For the best potted plant protection, you'll need to calibrate your sensors. Your local master gardener can advise you on the amount of moisture your particular plant desires. Take note of your sensor values when the soil is totally dry, sopping wet, and within your plant's desired moisture range. Now, you may be asking yourself, why the hell would I want to go through all that trouble just to keep my basil alive? Well, you may have some more valuable plants lying around the house. You know what I mean? Colorado, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey dudes, I wanted to try out a brand new video concept that I came up with. So I watch a lot of DIY tutorials on YouTube and my biggest, most favorite uh, channel to follow is Threadbanger. Super, super creative. They always are doing projects that I really want to try out. And there's honestly a lot of DIY stuff that I would really like to do, but I just, I always put it off. I'm like, oh, I'll do that after I clean my house. So then I never do it, and it always just kind of like itches in the back of my brain. So I decided to give myself an excuse to try out these various projects by filming myself trying out the project. So in this video, YouTube user Safety Pinner tried out our Rorschach t-shirt project, and I think it turned out great. If you make any of our projects, make a video, upload it to your YouTube channel, and email a link to threadbangermail at gmail.com. Or you can post a picture to our Facebook page. Link in the description. Okay, so we all know plants are like really important for sustaining all life on Earth. But did you know that you could use berries and roots and things like that to make makeup? Yeah, makeup, I know, crazy. Take a look. I did a little bit experimenting with different types of fruit and I found that blackberries and different types of berries, because they have a, a bit of a stickiness to them, they make a really good substitute for mascara. <laughs> so what I do is I buy frozen blackberries. Sometimes they have a little bit of a pinkishness to them, but if you get really dark ones then that's always the best if they're nice and ripe. So what I do for my eyelashes is I just dip it in here like so and I'll just spread it on my lashes. Make sure to watch the rest of the video over on Megan Elizabeth's channel. She's got a bunch of tasty tips. And speaking of makeup, 
Queen Beyonce, she may be able to wake up all flawless and shit, but the rest of us mere mortals usually have to go through a rigorous beauty routine before we leave the house. That's why I love Emoto Style's new parody video, Morning Face. That's what I have going on right here. Check it out. I got morning face, we human. Ladies, tell them I woke up like this. I got morning face, we human. If you haven't already, you should go to Emoto Styles channel and subscribe because they have a bunch of hilarious ass videos. And a big thanks to Meg for being our guest DIYer this week. Also, for all the videos that we featured in this week's episode, check out the description below. And if you know of any inspirational YouTubers out there that you think we should feature, leave a comment below. And until next time. Human, I woke up like